Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the Carly Russell case, the boyfriend of Carly Russell. He just spoke. He spoke. And he has a lot to say. Well, kind of. But I'm going to share with you a report on what he just said about Carly Russell. Check it out. So the New York Post is reporting Carly Russell's boyfriend asks people to stop bullying her amid sp suspicious abduction claims. Carly Russell's boyfriend is asking for people to stop harassing her online as more and more people, including those in her hometown, suspect that her kidnapping claims are a hoax because she left her wig behind. The only thing I can say is I want everyone to stop bullying her. I know what it seems like what she did. Just stop bullying on social media. Tomar Latrell Simmons told The Post. Interesting. Think about her mental health. She doesn't deserve that. She doesn't. Nobody deserves to be cyber bullied. Russell, 25 nursing student, vanished on July 13th after she reported to 911 that she has seen a child dressed in a t-shirt and a diaper, walking barefoot along busy Interstate 459 in Hoover, Alabama, as she drove home from her job. She promised police she would remain along the side of the highway until they arrived, but when they got there, they found her red Mercedes with her cell phone and wig left inside, but couldn't find Russell or small child. She suddenly reappeared at her home two days later, claiming she had been abducted and held captive, but police say her account of what happened is not lining up and she refused additional interviews. The wig has dominated the conversation surrounding Russell's disappearance offline and on and is a key element of the story that shifted public perception, particularly among the black community, even before the police released her browser history and cell phone records. Several hairstylists, wig experts, and saloon patrons in Russell's hometown, all of whom are black, told the Post that the wig immediately triggered suspicions that something seemed off even before Russell reappeared. She would have certainly wore that rig at work and it's unimaginable that she would have taken it off in the car. It would be like someone taking their underwear, they said. The stylist said the wig appeared to be an expensive front lace wig that looked like a 613 color, a premium shade of platinum blonde. It is custom fitted and takes 10 to 15 minutes to remove as it is actually glued to the scalp in some places custom wigs can cost as much as $800 200 at the bare minimum that was when the majority of Birmingham was like she's lying that's when it was split down the middle where there was those that believed her and those that thought she was lying it was the wig hairstylist Kyra Joyner 23 from Hoover told the post first of all your wig is going to be secured second if someone's taking you they're going to try to cause the least attention they can if people see a wig on the side of the road, people call the police when they see mannequins' heads hanging out the side of our cars, she said. Andrew Townsend, a saloon patron from Helena, says it's unthinkable that a black woman would ever leave her wig behind in a car. When it happened, we were in shock, but once we saw the wig, just to know that wig was left behind, we don't do that, we don't do that, people were talking about. My husband and I were talking about it, He's a police officer. He immediately thought something doesn't sound right. So you got these hairstylists that claim the wig gave it away. But at the same time, Carly's boyfriend is saying, stop bullying her about the wig. Interesting. So his main focus was Carly being cyber bullied online. And he doesn't want people to cyber bully her. In particular, about the wig about the wig that was left behind the red Mercedes when Carly vanished or when she walked off or drove off with someone else. Wasn't a kidnapping, but people are talking about the wig or weave, whatever you want to call it, and the boyfriend doesn't like that, according to the post. What's your thoughts? That's really all he really said about the situation. Didn't talk about anything else except people not to make fun of Carly online or cyber bully them. What's your thoughts on the weave being left behind? That was an interesting article, right? The wig weave left behind. You, you would think it would be glued on top of her head. 
Did she take it off beforehand? Maybe at the Target while she was in that parking lot? Maybe at the parking lot for a while? That's when she maybe took the wig off and then got to the scene and then threw it there? That's a possibility because it ain't, according to those hairstylists, easy to get a wig off quickly. And in this particular situation, there was time, right? Not a lot of time. Within five minutes of the 911 call, police are there. So she doesn't have much time. She doesn't have much time to get the wig off, weave, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a supporter of cyberbullying either. I say no to cyberbullying. I think people just feel like this whole situation is a hoax. It was fake. And I think they're calling Carly out on it. But apparently the boyfriend is not happy about that. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. I am in, I'm in Hoover. I'm in Hoover, Alabama covering this case. I'm covering this case extensively, giving you in-depth updates and insight about this tragedy. I've taken the escape routes, the potential escape routes that Carly possibly took. I've navigated through Carly's neighborhood where her parents live. I spoke to neighbors, communicated with people with this case. So check out my Carly Russell playlist. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.